Hello, I'm Stephen McAvoy and welcome to this short Blender tutorial on how to install or activate the Pobre 3.7 render add-on. I will show you how to set up the add-on and a few basic settings to get you started with using Pobre as your render engine. First, go to the user preferences, add-ons tab, render categories and render Povray 3.7. Activate it and in the Povray location enter where the Povray executables are. My Windows operating system installs them here. I'll now select the executable. Paste the location in. Go. And then select PV Engine 64. Accept. Save the user settings. Going back to the 3D view, I go to the properties and render. I ensure that the OS temp files and delete files are unchecked. In the command line switches, I've put slash exit and plus C. The slash exit tells Povery to exit after the render and at that time the image will be transferred back to Blender. The plus C tells Povery to continue a previously interrupted render. In Path to Files I put the path of where I want to save the any and POV files that the exporter generates. You can see here that I'm using Users, Steven, Documents, Graphics, Splendor, POV, Tutorial. All files will be saved in here. As an aside, if you're using anti-aliasing, I recommend non-recursive AA. It's a little bit faster. I've set this scene up with Blender materials. So before we start using Povray, I'll go and use the Blender renderer. I'll press F12 to render. And there we are. I'll now render it using Povray. F12 again. Povray started, as you see, exited and then pass the image back to Blender, which is displayed. It doesn't look that good, but we can change that by using Povray materials. So, if I go to the text editor, and in the text editor, add the Povray materials. I have some already created. I'll copy these, go back into Blender and paste them. Make sure you have this switch checked and this adds the code you have written at the front of the POV file. The next thing to do is to go into 
the objects and in the materials. At the bottom of the material uh, section, you will see custom POV code. Replace properties with. Here you put the POV ray textures that you've pasted into the text editor. For the sphere, it'll be sphere underscore mat. For the plane, it's plane underscore mat. And for the cube, it's cube underscore mat. I'll just check the plane again. Everything's fine. Now I will render. And Povery starts the render. and the image is passed back to Blender. I'm now going to render the scene again. Close Povray mid-render, then close Blender to show you the continue trace functionality. That's Povray stopped and closed. I will now close Blender. Open Blender. Open the last file and render again. Stopping Povery and then closing Blender. I'll start Blender again. Go to the last scene and re-render. Here you can see Povre started where it had left off. One last thing before I finish. Blender is using the 64-bit version of Povre. That means I can use the 32-bit version simultaneously to look at the exported code and, if need be, render it separately. This is useful if Pobre encounters a problem and then closes. In that case, you will not be able to see what went wrong. Running the POV code in Pobre will allow you to see the message streams. I'll now start Pobre again the 32-bit version I'll open the last file rendered and render it with different settings here in Povre you can see the exported code. Thank you for watching this tutorial.